This is Dick Zondag, the garden doctor, uh, coming to you from my backyard. Talk a little bit about renovating a strawberry patch. Uh, the strawberries that are behind me on the mound in my backyard were planted about three years ago. And the first two years I had really great production from them. Uh, and you, as you can see, they've kind of overgrown the paths that I had for them. And so it's time to renovate the patch. And so what I'm going to be doing over the next three or four days is I'm going to be taking my trusty lawnmower, which is set at its highest uh, setting so that you don't hit the crowns of the strawberries, but I want to take off the leaves of the strawberries. And if you have a grass catcher, it's probably better to have a grass catcher that will catch the leaves because a lot of the leaves are now starting to show scorch. And I also have a few invaders in the uh, strawberry patch that I want to get rid of. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking my mower at its highest setting and I'm going to be mowing my mound. I'm going to take all the leaves that are here and then I'm going to reestablish paths. And what I will do is uh, if I can determine where the original mother plants went in, that's where the path will be because as you get into the age of a strawberry, the younger it is, the more productive it is. And so what we want to do is take out the mother plants. Now if you've got a a, a patch on, in your garden on flat ground. What you want to do is, if you're renovating the patch, is mow the leaves off because the leaves will come back and they haven't started running very much yet so uh, that will also happen. But what we're going to do is mow the, you want to mow where the mother plants, the plants that you planted are, um, again because they're the most, uh, the least productive of the strawberries and get the new runner plants to, to grow back in. And so uh, tonight or tomorrow I'll be mowing them off and then we're going to take a rototiller and reestablish the paths so it's a little easier picking over the next couple of years. Okay, step one of our renovation is done. I uh, took my lawnmower, set it at the highest setting that it can be because you don't want it to cut into the crowns, but you want to get rid of the, the uh, leaves that are diseased and, uh, uh, and the, uh, uh, well, of course I had some weeds in here. Get rid of the weed seed. And uh, our next step will be to uh, get a rototiller and determine where the mother plants were planted originally. Because the older a strawberry plant gets, the less productive it is. And so what you want to do when you're renovating a strawberry patch is to take out the uh, oldest plants. And so what we'll do is determine where the oldest uh, plants are, where the mother plants are, and we'll rototill through those to get uh, paths again through the uh, through the mound. So, and over the weekend I finished the renovation of my strawberry patch. What I did is I took the rototiller and carved the paths. I first marked out where I wanted to do the paths so I would take out the maximum number of uh, old plants and then I took the rototiller and rototilled through that and then what I did was I, I uh, went through and raked break whatever I could out of those paths because there's a lot of straw and uh, stuff that I left from last winter to kind of create a barrier for moisture and to keep the weeds down a little bit. So I raked that out and then I rode it till the, the path again because I wanted to make sure that I got all of the strawberry plants and, and whatever was there out. Then I uh, got some mulch from our mulch pile 
and mulch all of the paths with uh, pine bark mulch. And that was to prevent the uh, erosion that would come on a mound. And uh, got some fertilizer. Uh, this happened to be uh, Espoma garden food. A little hotter than I would usually use on strawberries in the springtime because it would encourage more foliage but at this time after renovating the plant and cutting the leaves off I want to encourage growth so what I did was I took the triple ten and I just sprinkled it in the in the patch as I as I went through and that will give the plants the nutrients that they need to start growing vigorously and start running so that they fill the, the uh, whole area in again, keeping the runners from invading the paths that I set. So that's how I renovate my strawberry patch. The next time that I do this in a year or two, what I'll do is the year before I do my renovating, I will allow the strawberries to kind of run into the path and then I will take the old strawberries out that are there now and let the strawberries that ran into the path run back uh, and fill the place up. So this is a little bit on renovating a strawberry patch. Uh, hopefully we'll have a great uh, picture of strawberries next spring to show you. This is Dick Zondag, the garden doctor.